guys, I'm here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 2 Lesson 10 homework. So let's get started. Number one, estimate the product, solve using an area model and the standard algorithm. Remember to express your product in standard form. So A, we have 53 times 1.2 or 12 tenths. So let's draw our area model. So 12 tenths, we can write it as tenths. So 12 tenths has 10 tenths plus 2 tenths. And then we're multiplying it with 53. So that's 50 and 3. 3 times 10 is 30. And 3 times 2 is 6. 50 times 10 is 500. Um, and 50 times 2 is 100. So let's move on over here to our standard algorithm. 12 tenths times 53, 12, 2 times 3 is 6, and 1 times 3 is 3. Add a 0, 2 times 5 is 10, and 1 times 5 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So we look over here, 36 is the same as 36 over here if you take 30 plus 6. So you can draw an arrow to connect them, and then 500 plus 100 is 600. And that's where we got that number. So let's add, we get 636 tenths. But it says express our thing in um, standard form. Also, we forgot to round the number. Or 53 rounds to 50 times 1, that's 50. All right, anyways, 636 tenths, we would write as 63.6. So this would be our answer. And it's pretty much reasonable for our estimate. And B, 2.1 round to, round to 2 times 82, that's 80. So that's 160. So that's our um, prediction. Area model, 2.1 is 21 tenths. 21 tenths has 21 and 1 tenths. And then times 82. 2 times 20 is 40, 2 times 1 is 2, 80 times 20 is 1,600, and 80 times 1 is 80. Let's move on to our standard algorithm. That's 2, 4, All right, let's add 42. If you notice, 40 plus 2 is 42. That's where we got that number. And then 1,600 plus 80, that's 1,680. So that matches here too, so that's where we got the number. So let's add it's two one thousand seven hundred twenty-two tenths. So if we were to write that in standard form, that'd be that'd be one hundred seventy-two point two. That's reasonable. Number two, estimate, then use the standard algorithm to solve, express your products in standard form. A, 4.2 times 34, if we estimate it's 4 times, I say 30, I can say 35 if we want, if we want to be more precise, but we can just round to the nearest 10, that would be 30. So our estimate would be around 120. 2 times 4 is 8, and 4 times 4 is 16. Add a 0, 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 4 is 12. So let's add, we have 8, 12, 4, and 1. So 1,428 tenths, and that's equal to 442.8 tenths. Or 142.8. Alright, B, 65 rounds to 70 times 5.8, that's 6. So our estimate is 420. So standard algorithm, 8 times 5 is 40, 5 times 5 is 25, plus 4 is 29. Add 0, 6 times 8 is 48, and 6 times 5 is 30, plus 4 is 34. So let's add 3,770 tenths, and that's equal to 377. All right, and next page.
3.3 times 16, our estimate would be 3 times 16. We could go to 20 or 15. Let's do 15. 3 times 15, and that's 45. Let's do our math. Not 3.3. It's 33 tenths times 16. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19. 0. Add. 528 tenths. So that would be 52.8. Alright, and D, 15.6 would round um, to, let's just do 16 times 17. Oh, not 17. If we round to the nearest, how that be? Let's round to 20. Alright, 16 times 20. Just do 320, I guess. Oh, I keep on writing. It's 156 tenths times 17. 6 times 7 is 42. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 4 is 39. 1 times 7 is 7, plus 3 is 12. Oh, not 12, plus 3 is 10. Alright, 0, that's 6, 5, and 1. 2,652 tenths. That will be written as 265.2. Alright, and E, 73 times 2.4, add around to 70 times 2, which is 140 times 24 tenths. 3 times 4 is 12, 7 times 4 is 28, plus 1 is 29. 0, that's 6, and 2 times 7 is 14. Let's add... 1,752 tenths, and that will be written as 175.2. Alright, and F, 193.5 round to 194 times 60. So 194 times 6, that's I think 1164. You can do those on the side. Let's see right here. Times six. Oh yeah, one six four. And add the zero. So that's our estimate. Oh. All right. So one hundred ninety, one thousand nine hundred thirty-five tenths times 57. 5 times 7 is 35. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 3 is 24. 9 times 7 is 63 plus 2 is 65. And 7 times 1 is 7 plus 6 is... Wait, 7 plus 6, that's 13. All right, 0. 5 times 5 is 25. Um, 3 times 5 is 15 plus... Hold up, hold up. Wait, 5 times 5 is 25. 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 is 17. 9 times 5 is 45 plus 1 is 46. And 1, and 1 times 5 is 5 plus 4 is 9. Let's add... So 110,295 tenths, that'd be written as 100, 11,029.5. All right, number three, Mr. Jansen is building an ice rink in his backyard that'll measure 8.4 meters by 22 meters. What's the area of the rink? So 8.4 meters times 22, that's 84 tenths times 22. That's 8 and 16. 0, 8. Let's add. 
1848 tenths has 184.8 a meter squared. That's the area. Number four, Rachel runs 3.2 miles each weekday and 1.5 miles each day of the week. How many miles will she have run in six weeks? So we, there's five weekdays, so 3.2, 32 tenths times five, that's 10. So that's 160 tenths, so that's 16. 60 miles in for each, for um the total weekdays, that's 16. And then 1.5 miles, 15 each every day of the weekend. So that's times two. So that'd be 10. That's two plus one is three. 30 times, so that's just three. So 16 plus three is 19. So that's 19. Then times six weeks, so 19 times six, that's 54, 11. So 114 days, 114, not 114 days, 114 miles at the end of six weeks. So yeah. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.